Yeah. Hello and welcome. My name is Amelia. My name is Janet. And we are part of Kick International, which is a committee within the study association Kick. And today we are going to host this quiz for all you incoming first years, and we hope you enjoy. And we also hope that you will join Kick next year. It's a uh, we organize a lot of fun activities, such as professionals and uh, social activities. So it's definitely worth it. And now let's move to the quiz to find out what you know about Hanze and about Groningen. Yes. So we have two participants so far, and I'm just going to check: Will I begin it, or will I wait? If there's anyone else that wants to join. We're going to wait a few seconds um, and while we're waiting, we're going to just say that the first 10 questions are going to be about Kronigen, um to test your knowledge on the city that you will be living in or maybe you're already living in. Then the next 10 questions are about Hansa, so where you study or where you will be studying. And the last 10 questions, Jeanette, would you like to explain what they're about? They are random fun questions. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we are just going to wait. Um, we have Hans, we have Peter Jan here for Kahoot. And we hope you're all very excited. I'm not sure how much longer we have to wait, but just a few think, more yeah. seconds, maybe. Um, yeah, just put the pin in the app. And then we can. I think we're starting with the ground again. We can start, maybe? No. We can <laughs> few more seconds. Just building we up have the tension. Two. We have two competitors and we'll be pretty tense. Yeah, we're just going to build up the, the tension a little bit, get you guys excited for what's about to come. Um, but we hope that you'll learn something at least about ground again and about Hansa because there is a lot of interesting facts that you will soon find out now. Um, and it's good to know before moving here, you know, I didn't know that much about Groningen, did you, before moving here? Not about Hansa. About Hansa? Much, yeah. But did you know stuff about Groningen? Oh, okay, no, I, I was didn't prepared. Really, I was like, I didn't even know where this place was, to be honest. <laughs> I had never even been to the Netherlands before I moved. Oh, I fell in love with uh, Groningen yeah, four years ago, so it I is was a beautiful pretty city. excited. Yeah, it is a beautiful city, isn't it? Would it you is. agree? Yeah. It is. Yeah, and it's a really good place to study, so... You guys will really enjoy it. So, yeah. Anything else we want to talk about while we're waiting, Jeanette? Um, Do you have any any well tips for the first years? Hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, I well I'm, I'm just on my second year, and Jeanette, just on your first year. Yeah, well, maybe don't come that early. I came in the middle of July and it was not that fun, maybe because of Corona. And yeah. Let's see how it, it will go with Corona this year, but maybe come like mid of August yeah. and it will be way better, way more fun. Yeah, definitely. Give the yourself more life. Give yourself a little bit of time before you start studying uh, to get to know the city, yeah. get a bike. Very important. Yeah, yeah. Learn how to ride a bike. It's actually pretty easy, to be honest, when you get the hang of it. Yeah, not for everyone. <laughs> okay, fair. And it's kind of scary as well yeah. because a lot of people. The city is made for bikes, not cars. So yeah, definitely don't come with your car if you have a car. Yeah, no, you will not get anywhere, and you'll probably knock over some cyclists no. or something. So yeah, we're still waiting <laughs> for another few minutes. Yeah. Oh, we got more what people joining. Excited? This is great. Oh, okay. Oh, more people again. Brilliant, guys. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. We're, we're nearly there, guys. Oh, four people. Wow. Fun. So there's, ma yeah, there's going to be good, guys. going to be good. <laughs> Jeanette, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> do not understand me. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of talk. <laughs> oh, a lot of people. It's getting started. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting more people. Mm -hmm, this is great. Mm -hmm. 
This is really, really good, guys. Oh, and also feel free to use the chat because we can see the chat and we want to get involved involved with you guys and we want you guys to participate so yeah. if you want to say something we you want to add a comment time. you just put it into the chat and we'll interact with you definitely so don't be afraid to um to chat yeah we can even respond if you have any questions just write it down we can see everything but that you ask yeah we're getting more people let's get started with this quiz yeah we're going to get started soon dan oh yay see people are joining now we just needed to give them a little bit of time, time. um but if you guys want to put something in the chat, even where you're from or how old you are, um, anything you want to put in the chat, that would be great while we're waiting. We can get to know you guys a little bit. I'm actually, I'm from Ireland. And where are you from, Jeanette? Czech Republic. Yeah, so. Pretty rare. We got two international people here. Please let us know where you're from in the chat. That would be great. Um, because. Yeah, it's always interesting and people from so different countries yeah. here. It's Klania. crazy, honestly. The people you work with and the people you meet and the cultures, it's brilliant. It's really, really cool. So we would love to know where you're from. Oh, yay, we're getting more people. Hello, everyone joining. I hope you can get the, the pin OK. Yes, this is what we're talking about now. We're getting, getting lots of... Yeah. Participants, this is why we just had to wait fun, a little fun. bit because, yeah. It can be even more. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to start without. Yeah, without, without some people. Yes. Okay, I think we have everybody and we are ready to go. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, someone else just joined. Yeah, yeah. we go. You ready? Now. Ready to start in three, two, a one, a go. So this is kick and this is crawling in. And here is the quiz. First question. How tall is the Martini Torren? Is it 93 meters? Is it 96.8, 102 or 106.4? You guys have, yeah, you've like, 40, 45 seconds left to answer, so take your time, have a think of it. The Martini Torin. Jeanette, have you ever been to the Martini Torin? No, I'm actually ashamed a bit. I have not. Have you? No. I have. I've climbed up there when one of my friends came over to visit. Um, it's only three euro to, oh, to climb up it. Um, and if you guys don't know about the Martini Torin, it's literally the big tower in the middle of the city. You'll see it from everywhere, won't you? Yeah, and it's kind of like a symbol of Groningen as well. Exactly. Oh! Answers in, 96.8, 11 people got it right. Brilliant, yes. guys. Well done. <laughs> and two okay. people got it wrong, but hey. Next Who's questions. in the lead? Who's in the lead? Peter, Peter Young. Young. Yeah, and the quicker you answer, the more points you get, yeah. guys. Remember that as well. So you got to be ready. Are you ready for the next question? Yes, next you question. Call it out. What is the oldest bar in Groningen? The oldest. Is it the Hoist <laughs> <laughs> the the Brauerei, the Urwecker, or the Dreigesesters? Yeah, a little tip, know how to pronounce Dutch before you move to Groningen. Or don't, I don't <laughs> and I'm fine. Okay, not really. Yeah, it's but funny, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but it's, it can be annoying. Yeah, you'll, you'll get used no, to it. It's not annoying, it's fun. Do you know the answer? We do I know. do know yeah. the answer. The oldest bar? Hmm. I'm not sure. You guys. <coughs> Let's see who knows. You have 25 seconds left. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. Oh, <gasps> seven people. OK, seven people got it, got it right. It is Jeanette. How's the bird? She pronounced it I right. Know, I tried. I, I tried. <laughs> guys, well done. Well done. I mean, the rest is also pretty good pups, but... Um, <gasps> we got someone else taking the lead. It's Hans. Hans. You're doing great, Hans. <laughs> Come on, guys. The rest of you need to pick, pick up your game a little bit. Yeah. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, next question. When was the city of Groningen founded on paper? Was it uh, 930, <laughs> 1040, 1280 or 1460 years? I don't know I exactly. Oh, we don't, don't know either, no. But they're all quite old. Um, so it is quite an old city. 
very um, nice old buildings beautiful yeah you probably you would notice it when you c come here but it's it's a, a really nice vibe but it is yeah it's old but yeah what do you guys <laughs> think we have 11 answers we have one more person i think to answer um oh no 12 maybe again you the faster you are the more points you get yeah 13 um but yeah i'm not sure actually i can't remember when it was founded on paper now guys on paper <gasps> 1040 Ooh. and only five people got it right so congrats to those okay okay who is leading who is leading oh hans is leading hans guys. is staying at the top okay guys, the rest of you guys you're doing okay but you know <laughs> you could be doing better um yeah. next question next question Jeanette. when is the best known place to go for a drink in groningen is it the Leeuwenborg? Is it Padafol? Is it Zernikaplein? Or is it Pulestrat? Mm. There is a lot of places to go for drinks, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And the thing with Kroningen is, it's small, but there's so much to do. Um, and it's fun everywhere, and wherever you go. Like, everything's so close together, so it's so good. Like, you could be at one place and you just go to another yeah, place move. to meet people. And you know it'll be like maximum, like, five, ten minute cycle. Yeah, and it's fun for the pop crawl as well. Yeah, like pop crawl. Mm -hmm. And right now, the bars and stuff are open, which is great. So hopefully when you guys get here, or if you're already here, you're experiencing the nightlife in Groningen a little yeah. bit more. Hopefully it will be still open, yeah. no but restrictions. Yeah. It is very good, though, the nightlife. Um, really, really fun. I don't want to give anything away, because we do have some yeah. questions on it, but it's great. Um, Let's see. Oh, one person didn't answer. Oh. <gasps> Pull. Guys, what? A lot. Eleven people got you it. You know right. where to go drinking, huh? Pull a shot. If there's one thing you can rely on students for, it's they know where to get a drink. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cool uh, square with a lot of bars, a yeah. lot of pubs. Uh, one person answered Padapol. That is uh, like <laughs> a shopping place. Make sure you do not go there for a drink. It's, you'll be it's nice to live in Padapol. Maybe yeah. it's very calm. You'd oh be disappointed man. though. <laughs> and Zernike Plain is the campus here. Um, so sure, you could probably drink here, <laughs> but maybe, I yeah, not maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well done guys. <laughs> Who's in the lead? Oh, Hans is still Hans in the lead. Me. Come on, Marit and Tom and Peter Jan and Diederik and probably other people as well. Um, get your A game on. Let's move. Was it me or you? You. How many, <laughs> oh, how many percent of the inhabitants of Groningen are students? This is a very interesting question. Um, I wanted to say something about it, but I'd probably give away the answer. Maybe not. It's significant for Groningen. Yeah, it's 10%, 20%, 25%, or 40 You could actually mix it up a little bit, but yeah. I don't want to say anything and I'll give it away. Not yet. Don't say anything. Not yet. Give them time. But... <laughs> How many are students? Good question, very good question. 20 seconds. We have 12 answers. Come on, guys, there's one person not answering. Oh, there we go. One more <laughs> person, I think, that's, that needs to answer. The quicker, the more better. points you get. Well done. Oh, OK, so only four people got it right. A lot of people thought it was 40%. Yeah, it's not 40. It would be. You Almost a half. I think 40% is too much. It's 25%. Every fourth, fourth person is a student in Groningen, which is crazy. The youngest city in the Netherlands, right? I, isn't that a question? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no it's not a doesn't question. Matter. It doesn't matter. Forgot you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not sure. But yeah, it is really, really cool. Um, and you'll meet so many students here. That's the really nice thing, isn't it? Like wherever you go, um, you'll always meet yeah. people like your age or studying, um, and it's so international and um, yes. so so open. Very kind of. Okay, Hans is on a streak. Well done, Peter Jan. You're you're getting Hans up there. Hans still. So now, yeah, which is the biggest pub in Europe that is in Groningen? So the, actually, the biggest pub in yeah. Europe it's in, in Groningen. Groningen. A How lot of crazy. people don't don't know that. The biggest pub in Europe. We have the fun of drinking there whenever we want. But where is it? <laughs> is the question. You want to read out the possible answers? Oh, this is the house, the Burs, the Brewerei, the Drie Gesusters, or the Uurwerker. 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 
<laughs> I still try. <laughs> yeah. The biggest pub. It's lovely. That's yeah. really cool, mm -hmm. actually. And coming from Ireland, like, a lot where, of <laughs> you know, pubs are everything to us, it is a really cool pub. But where is it, guys? Come on. You got to come there for a <laughs> go there for a drink when you arrive in Groningen. Hopefully you guys get it right, the answer. Mm. Oh, oh Rob. Whoa! Oh, everyone. Oh, well done. Three Jesusters. It is the Drie Jesusters. It's three buildings, I think, right? Yeah, yeah three it's buildings. At, it's at the Grotemarkt, isn't it? Yeah, and in the summer, the, the terrace is like all over the square. It's pretty, yeah, pretty and fun. It's, it's always pretty packed, but it's lovely. Um, and usually you can actually go inside as well for like drinks and stuff yeah. or outside. Uh, yeah, there's like three separate parts to it. Um, yeah, it's one of the main bars in, in Grotemarkt actually. Um, so definitely go there. They actually do really nice nachos as well. Have you yeah. had the nachos? I think I did. Yeah, they do. Nice food as well. Um, so well done. Hands, Hands still, still in the lead. Mm. Another question. At what time do the bars have to close in Groningen? Is it at 11? At 2 p.m.? At 5? Or 2, is it 2 a.m.? Sorry. 2 a.m. 5 a.m. Or never? <coughs> what is the answer? And I didn't what know did that actually mean? before. Did you not? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure either. Um, it's an interesting one actually. Uh, I also don't want to give it away. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> you know, it's a student yeah. city, if I can give you a hint there. Yeah, because I didn't know it, because when I came here, uh, it was already kind of restricted. So yeah, it was not it. as it's supposed to be when I came here. So yeah. this is like before, actually before yeah. Corona, we mean. All like the restrictions. Day. Uh, with no restrictions. What Normal what life. Time what time is it? Is it 11, 2 in the morning, 5 in the morning, or never? Hmm. It's an exciting one. 3, 2, two 1. one. Never. never. You well can party well the whole day. You can party all night. You don't have to go sleep. It's going great, wild. actually. You can actually go. They don't have a closing time, which is crazy. In Ireland, they do, I presume. In, in maybe in Czech, I don't know if it's a normal. I don't thing even or not. know. But they close at like two or something. But never. You can literally go all night, and you can go, uh, people go out a lot later as well, don't they? I think. Yeah, they yeah. Here it starts like one, two. Well, I wouldn't yeah. go before midnight out. Yeah. No, I wouldn't yeah. go. So that's a good tip to keep in mind when you're going out for drinks. Be prepared. Drink sit some coffee. <laughs> yeah, sit on the terrace before. Yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. So, what is the famous snack of Groningen? So, not about alcohol. Is it the <laughs> croquet? The food. The eyeball? Uh, eyeball. Frinkfrikandel. Or Berenhop. Hop. I definitely did not pronounce no. them right. <laughs> um, but which one is it, guys? If you don't know, just give it a guess. Totally fine. Just go for it, you know. Um, but I say you have to try it. So you, be careful, I, I remember. Huh? You still have to try it. Yeah, I still have to try it. I, I think I've tried it. I have tried it. I, ha I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> say that, but which one is it? <laughs> Who knows? We have nearly all the answers. Which one would it be? Did you know which one it was, Jeanette? Like, if you looked at that, would you know? I don't yeah, know. I think I didn't know before I came to Kreingen. Yeah. I didn't know. And you can, oh my god, you can get them in the vending machines here, which is crazy. Them yeah, Fable, Fable. Crazy. Yeah, they, it's, it's like Fable. vending machines <laughs> for like actual food in like the going out street. It's yeah. really cool. It tastes the best at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh my god, guys! Fireball. What the hell? You all got it right. Yeah, it's like a ball. With it's meat. egg in the meat, I think. Oh. Yeah, egg in yeah. the meat. Lovely. Yeah, really nice. Make sure to try it when <laughs> you're here or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hans, what's going on here? He must be a uh, know everything about Groningen. Anyway. Some research. What is the most popular name for the soccer stadium in Groningen? Hmm. You want to read out the options there, Jeanette? Euro Euroborg, the arena. Also Park Stadion of uh, the Cope. The Cope. For soccer. I've never actually watched soccer no, here, have you? No, same, same. But there was a fun match, uh, the Netherlands against Czech Republic, last week. Oh. Everyone hates me. 
It was fun. It was. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I was laughing. I was laughing, and the rest was not. <laughs> Still 20 seconds. We are missing two or one answer. We're missing an answer. Two answers. Mm, two answers, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good job. It, it is Eurobor. The contestants know their soccer anyway. <laughs> wow, well done, guys. You'll like the next question. Of course, Hans, you're <laughs> still ahead. Peter <laughs> Jan, come on. Did the Rick, Tom, and Rick, Rick. And there's more people as well that I can't see. We trust you guys. You're going to get there. There's more questions coming that's not all about. Which team plays in the stadium? Which team? Is it the Ajax, FC Groningen, Ajax. FC Barcelona, or FC Zernike? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure it will be Barcelona. Pretty sure. FC Barcelona. Yeah. I think so. I think I so. I am for Barcelona. <coughs> well, we have nine answers so far. Mm. Um, I do know this answer. Do you know this answer? Yeah, as I'm saying, my guess is Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, soccer. soccer. Do you like soccer? Uh, yeah. yeah. I enjoy watching it here in the Netherlands. It's a big thing. Yeah. Everyone wears orange. It's yeah. pretty fun. For the Euros, it was, it was good. Big parties Yeah. in the street. More for the parties we like, not yeah. the actual... Okay. <gasps> well done, guys. FC Groningen. So nine of you got it's it right. I'm sorry for confusing you uh, that it might be Barcelona. It was not Barcelona. Did anyone pick? Oh my God, three people picked Barcelona. Yeah, they. <laughs> we have some clever cats in the audience. <laughs> okay, we're doing well, guys. Now, the next set of questions is about Hansa, where we are right now, where we study. We love this institute. And where are you going to study? <coughs> so, Jeanette, you can ask the first mm -hmm. question. Uh, which bus line is going from the station almost instantly to the Hansa? Like so line 15, 9, 99 or 10. It's actually really good for you guys to know this because usually I always cycle, but there is some very rainy days. Oh. Mm. Where you'll need to take the bus. Or when it's snow. Um, or if you're stuck or anything like that, it's really good to know actually, you know, which line is the most important one. And this is definitely an important one anyway. Um, it'll get you to the station, which is near enough to the city centre as well. Um, yeah, maybe so it will even live close to the station, so you might yeah. take the bus. From yeah. There. So this is a good question to know. Definitely. Mm. Practical. Practical question. To know. Mm -hmm. It's a... <laughs> Practical question. It is but <laughs> that was not the or right ten. sound, but <laughs> no. Oh, we have twelve answers. Mm -hmm. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're guys. missing two, probably. Line fifteen. 15 well so done. Someone here is going from the station to Hansa. Yeah. Some research. Yeah. I'm not going to give out to the people that don't know because they mightn't even be here. How are they meant to know? But write it down. Line fifteen, guys. <laughs> it's the important one. Okay. Hans. Okay, Sander, you're coming up. Rick, this is good. We're getting more people. So in which year was the oldest institute of Hansa founded? Was it in 1649, 1812, 1798 or 1954? I actually have no idea. Same. No. I, I have like, no idea. I, it could be any of these. I mean, any. it's interesting, um, but I didn't know. Pretty old anyway. Whichever one it is, it's going to be pretty old, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, with nine answers. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's see. Which one is it? <gasps> we have 22, 21, 20 seconds left to answer, yeah. guys. The quicker, the better. I mean, this will be probably a big guess. Yeah. But if someone I'd knows for sure. 
If, if you know, put it in the chat. Yeah, good job. Oh, actually, don't give it away. That was stupid. But Just say it. I, I mean, know. I mean, yeah, like I knew it. <laughs> or I'm going to be impressed with the people that do. Oh, five oh. people. <gasps> Still good. Oh. Wow, five people. 1798. That is a long time ago. Pretty old. Wow. Five people. Guys, well done for knowing that. Hans knew it, Rick knew it. Mm, I can't see who else of knew it. Of course Hans knew it. Of course. Of course. Okay. Oh, uh, Zernike Complex is the place where most of the Hansa is located and where we are studying. Uh, after whom is this location named? So Zernike Complex, that's where we are right now, isn't it? It's just a bit outside the city. How, how long? 10 minute cycle? I would say 15. 15? Yeah. yeah, I live kind of on the edge, so for me, yeah, yeah, probably 15. Always though. think 15, better to be Actually, on time yeah. than. Yeah, I'm always a bit late. late. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. about 15 minute cycle from the city centre, so it is outside, it's like the only thing outside the city, isn't it? But it's actually a pretty nice um, place. Um, cool buildings, nice places to study. And it's a good, like, good path to cycle on, it's pretty nice. Exactly, yeah, yeah. it's perfect, it's easy. Um, there's nice places to get food, nice cafeterias. The swimming pool is also here, actually. And like the Aklo gym. Yeah, if you join Aklo, you can go to the, yeah, to the gym. Then yeah. there is like a lot of group lessons also here in Zernike. Yeah, no, no, it's really good. Fun. So who was it named after? Fritz Zernike. Six of you guys got it right. Well done. He was a Dutch physicist. Um, and that's who it's named after. Yeah. Really? Good to know. Interesting. Aww. Not the right sound, definitely not. But anyway, Hans is still winning. Peter Jan, did the Rick, Rick and Sander. You guys are all doing quite well. There's a bunch of people that I, I can't see and I want your names going up. So screw on your thinking cap. How many locations does the Hansa have in Groningen? So as you know, Zernica is um, you know, a main location, but we do have other places. Do we have seven locations? Do we have 14? Do we have 21 or 28? Uh, it is spread around the city as well, isn't it? Like it's not just obviously there's locations here, but there's also different places you can go. Um, and it's also kind of mixed with the Ruch University as yeah, well. Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea. Cause like my year was mostly online. So if I was five, not 10 times maximum here at Hansa. So I really hope that the next time, like the next year coming, it will be physical. Cause yeah. It was pretty sad. Yeah. yeah, I got like like my first, what, six, eight months of like normal. Oh, okay. It came in March yeah. and then when I was in first year. So I was used to coming here a lot. Um, it's a lovely Lucky. place. Yeah. But some people, yeah, it's handy if I guess you have a location in the city as well. But we have a lovely like building here and stuff. It's really nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, good facilities. Nice. So, yeah. Ooh, 28 locations. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I really don't know where those locations are. Uh, wow. Well, <coughs> yeah, two of you guys picked seven. I would have thought like not that many, but 28. Interesting. Um, so yeah, next one, Jeanette. Yeah, how many students are studying at Hansa? So it's a 15,320, 22,872, 28,432, or 31,496. So this is at Hansa itself. Yeah, I think I know the question or the answer, but yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure either. Mm. Um, but there are a lot, a lot of students. There are a lot anyway, whichever one yeah. it is. There are a lot. Um, and as we said, it's a student city like Groningen. So um, there's also the other university here. Yeah, oh. So whoa, we got like three, three, three and three questions. Okay. So yeah, it's 28,432, which is a lot. I actually thought it was 30,000, but it's not. It's, yeah, it's 28, so it's yeah, just so a bit it's off. Less than um, but like equally, people picked like all of them, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, no, it is, it is a lot of students, uh, which is good. Oh, well done, Sander, that none of the others got it. But, and whoever else got it right, well done, guys. How many of them are international? Like me and Jeanette. Yeah. Is it 4.5%, 8.1%, 9%, or 
a lot of cultures. Mm. It's so cool. It's one of the it's best so cool. things about it, I think. You learn so much from other cultures. Uh, it's such an open place as well, isn't it? And so forward thinking. I think when people from so many different cultures co oh, come together. OK, guys, is 8.1. <laughs> well done to the three people who got it right. Yeah, 8.1% is, it is a lot. Like, there's, I don't know what that, that number is exactly, but. Um, but it's definitely increasing. Yeah, it is. And as I said, it's a really, I think, an open place and so forward thinking because it's so international as well. And when you get so many different, you know, outlooks and perspectives, um, yeah, it's really, really cool. A really cool place to live because this is, yeah, this is one aspect that we love about it. And we're, th we're a part of the lucky 8.1%. Yeah. We love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Next question. Uh, in the dorm principal location, in the room number could be uh, D212. What does the second number stands for? Yeah, so it's like D2. So it's, yeah. it's, um, it can be it's the wings. Yeah, so like, um, like there's an A, B, C, and D, and they're the wings. So it starts A is this side, then B, then C, then D. And then it's like the number after that is the floor. So it's the ground floor is zero. Then it's one, then it's two. So it's like D is this way, and then two is the top floor. Um, so then the second part of that, the 12, or like it could be 20, that specifically, what does it stand for? Um, and so it's not in like in a row, like yeah. very random numbers. It's not numerical. Uh, oh, yeah, numerical. the amount of steps, the amount of seats, the is it the room number 12 in the hallway, the amount of power sockets. I kind of gave, I didn't give it away, but yeah, it's actually quite interesting. Um, I didn't actually know this one until we were doing no, this. No, I didn't yeah. know either. So, it is the amount of steps in the hallway. One person got it right. Whoever you are, well done. Put <laughs> whoever picked the amount of steps in the hallway, I want to see your name in the chat right now. Say me, it was me. Whoever got it right, I want to see it. It's pretty interesting. Who was I it? would never think of that. Who was it? Oh, Dan says he's in the 11th place. Come on, Dan. We, we have trust Can in do you. better. Um, eleven people thought it's the it's just the room number, yeah. but Hansa decided to be quirky, special, and special, and didn't want to go the normal like normal. Imagine route. how we will number the, the rooms, the number of the steps. steps. So when you go to D twelve, you know that it'll take you twelve steps to get there. Yeah, so we were actually counting uh, after this. Uh, oh, we Tom, quiz. well done. I think it was Tom that had it right. Good job, Tom. Is it you or me? Uh, for which study is KIG the study association? So, so we're part of programs. Communication, marketing, international communication, or communication and multimedia design. For which study is KIG? It's probably not <laughs> the question. Which right? Is, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, yeah. Not? Is I that think we have some mistake. Here. I think it is a bit of a mistake. Yeah, no, we have to press the. Um, <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh. Oopsie. Oh. This is a. Yeah, I think this question is a bit of a mistake. I think it's for which study. No, 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 no. no it's not. It's, not, it's okay. fine, never mind. Okay. Communication. We are confused. Let's see. <coughs> okay. Oh, you can oh, choose. Oh, you could do all of them. I didn't know that. Well, so, oh, you you're probably choose. smarter than we are. Well, so three of them. Yeah. So it's communication. It's international communication and communication. communication so it's for these three studies. So we're part of international communication. Then communication, which are mainly it's the Dutch track of our study, and then communication and multimedia design um, for all those people that like to be creative. Anyway, it's for all of that. So yeah, <laughs> if you're one of them students, then you're amazing. Yeah. I'm not biased at all. Okay, <laughs> how old is the study association? <laughs> not the study association, the study, the study association. <laughs> Please let us know. <laughs> Five yar, ten yar, fifteen yar, twenty yar. <laughs> <In Dutch. laughs> if you don't know what yar is, it is year, year in Dutch. Yes. Good job. Mm -hmm. 
And Tuddy is... <laughs> what does Tuddy mean? <laughs> it means study. It was yes. a typo. But it's fine. Everybody makes I mistakes. Guess, yeah. Everybody <laughs> has those days. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, how, how old is it? I do know this and you, you do as well. Of, of course. course, we are proud kick members. Of course, we know this. We had some celebrations a while ago as well for a specific one of these years, one of these anniversaries. Um, and yeah. yeah, fun events. How many people know about kick? A lot. Well done. 10 people got it right. 15 years. Yep. We had uh, celebrations for it earlier this year, which is really, really nice. Um, 15 years, doing really well. Yeah. Well done, guys. Next question. Another question. What does kick stands for? What does it stand for? Keep in contact. <laughs> Jeanette? Uh, keen in communication. I'm not quality in control. Or kracht in communicatie, power in communication. Which one is it? Does anybody know? <gasps> oh. Ooh, we've 10 answers so far, guys. It's getting fast. Um, I do know it, but do you guys know it is the question? You're going to learn yeah. so much from this quiz. So these are all, yeah, questions. Yeah, we yeah, questions from cake, like we cake. definitely know all yeah. of us. We do. Mean. Proud members, honestly, guys, make sure to join. Um, it is a really good opportunity to meet people in Kick. But what does it stand for, <laughs> guys? You'll Next find out in eight seconds. Seven. Drum roll, please. Five. Are we gonna have the answer? Well done, oh, each of you guys. Keen in communication. <laughs> well done. We are all definitely keen in communication, <laughs> aren't we? We are. Yes, we are. Now, next question. Oh, random fragen. <laughs> oh. Okay. How many stripes are on the American flag? Is there six? Is ten? There ten? Is there 13? Or nine? 18? 18. 18. <laughs> oh, which okay, one is it? it? Stripes. Yeah, so these are the counts. random questions. So you've learned so much now about Kronigan, about Hansa, about Kick. So now it's time to test your general knowledge. Yes. And for those people that weren't getting the other questions right, totally fair. You know, if you're not living here, if you don't study here yet, we understand. But now's your time to shine. <laughs> you, we, you got this. We have faith in you, don't we? We have faith in them. We have 11 answers. Woo! Oh. 13 stripes, guys. Five of you answered 18, mm. but no, 13. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't probably. Yeah. No either. Ooh, we're doing well. How many days does it take the Earth to turn around the sun? Is it 30 days, 120, 365, or 1,825? Primary school question. So we hope you guys will know. The quicker you answer, the better as well. I'm putting the time pressure on you guys. We, we have trust in you. <laughs> you can do it. Which question is, which answer, answer is it? Answer it is. Mm, I'll be disappointed if Missing people get this wrong. few answers. You're going to be going into college. So I hope you can answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shoot. A bit of both well actually. There's <laughs> only six people got it right. So for the six people and for the other <laughs> Yeah. Because okay, four people thought it was Yeah, come on guys. Three hundred and sixty five days a year. I hope that you know it now and yeah, remember that. Be prepared mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. studies. Mm -hmm. okay. Jeanette. What is the smallest country in the world? Ooh, Luxembourg, the Vatican, or Malta? Which one is it? I've um, never been to any of those. Neither have I. Malta's meant to be lovely. Mm. I've never been there though. I've never been to Luxembourg. No, I'm, yeah, I haven't, haven't been. But yeah, how big is Czech? Is Czech big? 
Uh uh. Ah, oh, we oh. have a good. Oh! Shoot. This is the one I yes. meant to. <laughs> it is the Vatican. Well done, you all got it right. Oh no, one person yeah, well got it right. One person got it's it right. One person got it right. It's not Malta. Um, now, Jeanette. Uh, from which city are the Beatles? Ooh, is it Liverpool? London? Amsterdam? Or? Edinburgh. 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 <laughs> which one is it? So you will learn a lot from other cultures. I guess people will have a, an idea. You guys showed the Beatles, they're very famous. 10 answers already, okay, we're doing good. Um, well done. Liverpool. We love the Beatles, Liverpool. Seven people, that's quite good. Um, not from Edinburgh and London. Yeah, nobody thought it was Amsterdam. Okay, so people knew it was the UK, but yeah. Now you know it's it's Liverpool. Oh, we got Rick moving up the ladder. Diderik and Tom and yeah, we're doing well, guys. We're doing good. Okay. How many keys does a classic piano have? Is it forty keys, sixty-five, eighty-eight, or one hundred and twenty-four? That's an interesting question. I have no idea. I have no idea. Do you play the piano? No. I used to play the keyboard. I'm very bad with music. Yeah, same. Same. I'm more a sports. I wish I girl. could sing. If so. No. I can't. I do sing what I can't. Yeah, yeah. True. Um, but yeah, I'm not a musical person either at all. I can play like. like yeah, I, I think I was playing flute when <laughs> I was in a kindergarten. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So I have no idea how many all. keys a classic piano has. Um, but you've 17. 16. Interesting question. Who left. knows the answer? <laughs> Who knows the answer? Some musician here. Can someone play piano? <laughs> that <laughs> what was that? Was that you, Jeanette? What? <laughs> four people got it right. Mm, okay, well done to the four. And the others, come on, guys. Who thought it was... 120. How could, you? How could you not know? Of course it's 88. Pfft. Everybody knows that. No, we were being sarcastic. Okay. Hans still first. This is an interesting one. When was Netflix founded? 1997? 2003? 2008? Or 2015? So I do know this question, ans the answer, and we only found it out. Yeah. And we were interested. I'm not going to give anything away, actually. But we were interested. Yeah, once we had a, um, like a professional event with a producer of uh, White Lines, the series from yeah. uh, Netflix. It was pretty interesting. That's so true. And if you guys haven't watched White Lines, it's so good. Um, and we basically we had a full-on company yeah. visit, at, uh, like a lecture, with yeah. the, the producers of it. So the film Palma company Pictures. called Palma Pictures. They're located in Majorca. Um, and they produced that specific series and they worked with Netflix before. So that's, yeah, some of the things we do is... Um, so if you join Netflix. Geek, there will be way more opportunities mm. like this. Yeah, it was actually really, really cool. And a really good contact to have as well. <laughs> so, yeah, 1997. Well done, well done. <laughs> that was not meant to be funny. Anyway. 1997, did you know, like, that's crazy. No idea. It literally, it got, I, I don't know when it kind of blew up, but it was certainly not for a long time after 1997. Um, so that's a good good thing to know, especially if you're in, into film and production. Yeah. Um, so yeah, next question, Jeanette. What was the first Disney movie? The first Disney movie. What was it? Uh, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Lion King, or Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin is my favorite. Mm. Do you well, know which, which one, one was it? I know, know, yeah, I know. Did you know you knew before? Did uh -huh. you? Okay. Yeah, my sister is a fan of Disney, no. so I'm. That's I knew it. Nice. But you can maybe, yeah, oh. even tell from the animation. Yeah. Snow White is Snow pretty, White. yeah, Snow older. White. Yeah, well done, Snow White. Snow White. Okay. What fruit is used to make raisins? Apples, grapes, cherries, or cranberry? Is it cherries? What fruit? Ra do you like raisins? Uh, yes, actually. 
There's like mm. two camps, whether you like or you hate it. Yeah, I so don't. I like it actually. Mm, I don't. Yeah. And it's the worst when they're in like cookies and stuff. And then oh, that's the best. No. Grapes. Who said cranberries? One person said cranberries. Unlucky. Nay. Well done. It is, in fact, grapes. I do like grapes, though. Do you like grapes? I love grapes. Grape, everybody likes grapes. Everybody. Okay, we're doing... Next question. We're doing quite well. Okay, Jeanette. What does the average person <laughs> do 13 times per day? Do they? <coughs> Back. <laughs> Go to the toilet? Love. Or? Burp. burp. We wow. don't have a burp in That's actually a, a, that's a funny one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a funny one. Um, which one is it? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> or do they? Oh, well done. I mean, you can probably also burp 13 times per day. But you can also burp 13 times a day or go to the toilet. But on average, people laugh 13 times a day. Yes. I definitely Beautiful laugh a lot Beautiful world. Oh. Four people got it right. Well done, guys. Well done, well done. I think we have a last question. Eh? I think we do. I think. <laughs> True or false? Special question. You can sneeze while you're asleep. Is it true? Or is it false? Or is it false? Which one is it? <laughs> and this, I'm pretty sure, is our final question. So... If you want to climb up that ladder and win this quiz, you got to know. Can you have think? Have you ever sneezed in your sleep? Have you? <gasps> it's false. <laughs> false. Well done. Well done. <laughs> to those eight people. I did have no um, any idea. I had no idea. So no. yeah, well done for knowing that. Oh, and the podium. The podium. Well. Third Peter, Jan, oh, Peter is Jan, Tom, and the first place goes to surprise Woo! Hans. Well done, amazing, amazing. Hans, did Tom, and Peter, Jan. Yeah, and Diderik and Rick, you guys were runner-ups in fourth and fifth place, and to everybody else, well done for participating. Um, you at least learned a lot about Groningen, where you'll come to live, Hansa, where you'll come to study, Kick, where hopefully you will be joining, and some random fun questions as well. <laughs> so we really enjoyed it. Uh, we hope you did too, and we hope to see you here soon in Groningen, wherever you're coming from right now, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you for participating, and goodbye. <laughs> Little applause.